Groove Agent 5 offers some clever playback options for patterns, as well as a unique jam mode, which allows a simple MIDI performance to switch between different patterns in a very musical manner. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different options. When we look at Groove Agent, we have different pads, and these pads could trigger either instruments or patterns, which could trigger different patterns that play back the instrument sounds. Now to toggle back and forth, you could hit the E key on your computer keyboard. Now these can all coexist on the same MIDI channel without overlap if set up correctly. Or you could place the different pattern pads into their own MIDI port by clicking on this icon here. So some of the different playback options will be found in the pad settings. So if we're in our pattern, I can now go and turn on the pad settings by clicking on this little cog wheel here. There are three different playback modes. The first mode we'll have is hold. And when I hold down a MIDI note, that pattern will continue to play until I release the MIDI note. When I release the MIDI note, it will stop the pattern. We also have toggle, and toggle will play the pattern just by hitting the MIDI note once and releasing. And then when I hit the MIDI note again, it will stop. Our last mode that we have is one shot. So this will, just by hitting the MIDI note once and releasing, will play the pattern all the way until the end of the pattern. We could also change the velocity characteristics. So we could retain the original velocity that's programmed with the pattern, or if I wanted to come here, I could say as played. So if I trigger the pattern with a high velocity note or a very soft velocity or medium velocity, you could change the dynamics of the pattern in real time. There are some other functions of different trigger modes. You could have it trigger immediately on the next beat or the next measure. Now the jam mode can be activated by turning on this icon here. And once we see this icon is activated in the upper left hand corner for the pattern pads, you'll see that these will change. And you could define each of these by selecting the pad. So we have a standard and that will continue to kind of play. Next, as soon as we hit a next key, it will go directly to the next pattern that is set to standard. If we wanted to turn off a pad that was set to standard, we could simply turn off the exclusive function that would be bypassed. We have a return. So on our fills, we could set these to return. So we hit this once with our MIDI note, it'll then return to the existing pattern. And the fourth one we have is called stop. So as soon as stop finishes, it's gonna complete the pattern and stop the playback. So if I wanted to come here, let's set up a couple of patterns. I'll set this to next. And let's say we'll just start with this. So we'll do our intro. And we'll go directly to the next standard. And let's say if I wanted to do a fill, as soon as I trigger the fill, it'll start and return directly back to this one. And let's say if I want to go to this our main seven pattern, which is set up as a next. It will immediately go to this pattern when it's complete. And then to complete the cycle, we could just click on our ending. So you could actually perform different arrangements of patterns, and especially if it's great if you're playing keyboards 
or guitar or bass or another instrument. You could just hit one MIDI note and have it jam along with you. So as you can see, some of the unique playback patterns and jam modes in Groove Agent 5 can really make it a very interactive way of jamming with you and performing with you in a musical manner. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.